Hello everyone, we hope you're all doing beautifully well. Today, for what we hope is going to be an absolute pucker mission, Operation Opera, Israel's strike on Iraq's nuclear power plant. I'm sure you already know about the history of this, but we're going to tell you. In fact, we're going to tell you for the second time, because we've already done a video on this before. Myself and RC did a little bit of history and a reenactment with just two of us and a bunch of AI guys, and it was fun, not particularly realistic, but fun. Now we're going to up the realism a bit, and we're going to bring the rest of the guys. Say hello, guys. Oh, oh, going on. Hello. Hello. Wow. Hello. Most depressed bunch of humans I've ever known. That's what happens when you've been in the Grim Reapers for too long. So let's talk, about, yes. let's talk about the history. 1976, a sale was finalised with the Iraqi government convincing the French government <clears throat> to sell them two nuclear reactors along with a sale of 72 kilograms of enriched uranium and the training of personnel. The total cost had been given at $300 million. Construction for the 40 megawatt light water nuclear reactor begun in 1979 at the Al-Tuwaitha nuclear centre near Baghdad. In July 1980, Iraq received from France a shipment of approximately 12.5 kilos of highly enriched uranium fuel to be used in the reactor. September 30th, 1980, Iran attacked and damaged the Al-Tuwaithi nuclear center with two F-4 Phantoms shortly after the outbreak of the Iran-Iraq war. However, due to concerns that the reactor had been already fueled and could release radioactive fallout if hit, they did not attack the actual reactor dome, but the control room, research facilities and the adjacent buildings. The French and Italian technicians promptly left Iraq and nearly withdrew from the project, but some later returned in February 1981 and began to repair the damage. 13 November 1980, an Iranian F-4 Phantom reconnaissance jet took pictures of the Iraqi reactor. Elements of the Iranian military delivered them to the Israelis. With these photographs, the Israelis began to plan out Operation Opera. Over the next several months, Israeli Air Force Phantoms ran reconnaissance missions over the areas of southern and western Iraq, while the Iraqi Air Force was busy fighting the Iranians and these missions went unnoticed by the Iraqis. During these missions, the Israelis discovered a blind area on the Iraq radar on the border with Saudi Arabia. While the Iraqis were aware of the blind area, they did not remedy the problem because they did not expect a war with Saudi Arabia. 4 April 1981, Iranian Air Force launched a major attack on the Iraqi airbase with eight F-4 Phantoms, destroying two Tu-22 bombers and two T-15 strategic bombers. These could have been used to retaliate against Israel in the event of an attack. With them destroyed, Operation Opera was a go. Operation Opera, 7th June 1981, 8 F-16As, each with two unguided Mark 84 2000 pound delay action bombs and a flight of six F-15As, wow, F-15A, was assigned to the operation to provide fighter support. Island Raymond, who was the youngest pilot to participate in the operation, later became the first Israeli astronaut and died in the Columbia Space Shuttle disaster, which has just come into Netflix. How about that, guys? Crazy links between our missions that we're doing. We're not going to do the uh, Columbia Space Disaster mission, by the way. Well, we could. Uh, One day. But, yeah, nightmare. If we get the mod. The Israeli pilots conversed in Saudi-accented Arabic while in Jordanian airspace and told Jordanian air controllers that they were a Saudi patrol. While flying over Saudi Arabia, they pretend to be Jordanians. Upon reaching Iraqi airspace, the squadron split up with two of the F-15s forming a close escort of the F-16 squadron and the remaining F-15s dispersing into Iraqi airspace as a diversion and a ready backup. The attack squadron descended to 100 feet over the Iraqi desert, attempting to fly under the radar of the Iraqi defences. At 18.35 local time, the F-16 formation climbed to 7,000 feet and went into a 35-degree dive and aimed at the reactor complex. The F-16s releasing the Mark 84 bombs in pairs at 5-second intervals. At least 8 of the 16 release bombs struck the containment dome of the reactor, so we actually went for the dome this time. It was later revealed that half an hour before the Israeli planes arrived, a group of Iraqi soldiers manning anti-aircraft defences had left their post for an afternoon meal, butterfingers turning off their radars. The Israeli planes were still intercepted by Iraqi defences but managed to evade the remaining anti-aircraft fire. 
The attack lasted less than two minutes. That's just the attack, not the mission. The mission lasted bloody ages. There's one really striking bit that's been missed out in the synopsis uh, when we read about it last year, I think it was, was that when the F-16s and 15s were flying over the kind of border area towards Iraq, they actually flew over, I think it was, RC, the King of Jordan. Do you remember that? And yeah. he, he, and he recognized yeah, seen him. He yeah, saw them. Seen him. I saw they were American. But I think he decided either he tried to pass it on to Iraq or decided not to, or I can't remember exactly. He, he did try to pass it on. It's just the uh, the message didn't make it. Yes. Yep. Um, yep. So the amazing laxness of the Iraqis in oh, every way not. really uh, really made this available. It was amazing, wasn't it? As well, in the background, we can see the massive journey. The other thing that we simulated in mine and RC's earlier attempts is we flew from southern Israel, all the uh, the Jordanian Saudi border hopped across Saudi, dumped our tanks, did the attack and then came back, is that this was right on the limit of these aircraft's fuel. And they somehow had made it back with like five pounds of fuel or something ridiculous. So uh, we'll see how that unfolds today. And that moves us on, guys, to today's mission. Very kindly made for, for us by Starscream. Good man, he's not here today. So I'm going to run over the red four and blue four objectives. This is PvP, so humans are blue, humans are also red. Blue four objectives. A airstrike iranians destroy all four iraqi tu-22 bombers israelis destroy iraqi nuclear power plant enemy forces mig-21 mig-29a sa-6 and zu-23 that's all yep that's all realistic b combat air patrol protect pro protect protect strike aircraft from enemy interdiction enemy forces mig-21 mig-23 su-17 c protect convoy Protect supply convoy from attack. Hostile enemy helicopters. On to the Red Fort objectives. 1. Cap. Prevent Iranians from destroying bombers and Israelis from destroying the nuclear power plant. Enemy forces. Blue 4, F4, F15, F16 and KFIRS. Also, destroy convoy. Destroy the convoy before it is under ADA and SAMS at Horm Rail Yard. Enemy forces. Helicopters. Restrictions. This takes place on 1981. No AIM-120. <laughs> <laughs> My life doesn't function without AIM-120s anymore. And data link and everything. No AIM-9X. Meh. Uh, to stay true to the history of the airstrikes, F-14s will not have the AIM-54s. Get some. F-16s must conduct the airstrike with a pair of ID-4s. So let's get that done. Tasking A. Iranians will conduct airstrike on Iraqi bombers so they can be used against Iran or as a retaliatory strike against Israel. Waypoint 1 is the target air base. Waypoint 2 is your home base. You can see thumping great things you can see there on the southern apron at Palmyra. The airfield is protected with the ring of CD23, uh, bombers parked at location, oh sorry, and, and the northeastern. Uh, one, there's two there. Israel will destroy the Iraqi nuclear power plant before it becomes operational. Waypoint one is the target. Waypoint two is Ramat David. It is almost 500 miles round trip. Fuel management will be critical. 500 miles, guys. Critical for mission success. ZU-23 emplacements are in a ring while one mile out from the target. Okay. Uh, tasking B. Both Iranian and Israeli CAP will provide cover and or decoys to their associated strike packages. Uh, task C. Iranian helicopters will provide the convoy carrying American Hawk and tow missiles from Iraqi helicopter attacks. Besides your support, the convoy is undefended. First shipment of arms to Iran during the Iran-Contra affairs was 1981. Iran-Contra was a US operation to sell weapons to Iran through Israel to give support to anti-communist rebels in Central and South America. Red Mission. Cap, stop both Iranian and Israeli strike groups from destroying their targets. Secondary objective is making sure they do not make it back to base. Waypoint 1 equals nuclear power plant. Waypoint 2 equals Palmyra Air Force RTP. Intelligence has uncovered a possible shipment of advanced American weapons being transferred to the Israelians. Iranians, destroy the convoy which consists, which, which consists of 10 military-style cargo trucks. Let's have a look at the map. We have the Isra Iranian F-14s, uh, F-4s, taking off from Aleppo, around near Aleppo. The F-5s here from fake Iran. We're going to be pushing uh, southeast to Palmyra, and they'll be bombing the Tu-22s, as you saw before there, and returning. We've got this rough area here of the weapons convoy to Iran, and that's all we know about that for the helicopters. 
Uh, Palmyra here is the Red 4 base and their approximate SAM coverage. Here we have the Iraqi nuclear power plant, 250 odd miles from Ramat David, where the Israelis will be taking off. It's not the correct place, but it's the nearest we can get. They will have additional SAMs from AAA around that, as to be period accurate. Ramat David here is where the Israeli F-15As and the F-16As will be taking off from, travelling 250 miles and then back if they can. So let's go and have a look at the groups. Blue 4, Ford, F-4 Phantoms, Iranians, Stoat and Dock, simulated by F-14s with appropriate weaponry. Chevrolet are Iranian, Cap Cover, F-5 Tigers, Chopsticks, Exila, Obi, Frisco. Cadillac is the beginning of the Israeli Israelis, the Cap Group. Dev and Elo in F-15As without Fox 3s. Dodge Oldsmobile F-16As without fire control radars oh, without, and without SA or AWACS or anything. Roadkill, Ruby, Kelso Mad Eyes, RC Cat Penguin, we may shuffle it around a bit. Helicopters on blue, only one. Blight UH-1. Red 4. We've got Saturn MiG-21 Dragon. These are all at Palmyra. Jupiter Apollo in a MiG-29A, Neptune MiG-23s are going to be modified F-14s without Fox 3s, Seahorse, Cover and Kingston. So guys, oh and Brinks is in a hostile UH-1. The Israelis are going to take off Ram at David, we'll take off pretty much straight away. 15 minutes later after we've taken off, the Iranians will take off as they have a shorter distance to get to Palmyra. F-14s are Fox 1 and Sidewinder. F-5s are Fox 2. That's it. Cadillac are Fox 1 and Fox 2. Dodge a Fox 2 only because they well, they can't take Fox 1s anyway. I think I might shift into an F-15, guys, because I can see... We've got lots of bombers here with Mark 82s. Not much air-to-air. -air. I'm just thinking what's best for the group here. Uh, I don't know. What do you reckon, guys? What do you reckon? I don't really don't know what's best here. Don't give it away. There are five red cat flighters, so... I'd like to recommend uh, runway 15 for departure. It'll, we won't have to make a U-turn to oh, no. get to the nuclear power plant. Okay. So, Kafi, for the uh, strike package, we're just proceeding direct from Vermont David to the nuclear reactor at low level. Roger. Uh, yeah. Looks like uh, waypoint 1 is, is the target, and then waypoint 2 is uh, RTB. Roger that. Okay, myself and RC have swapped over for F-15s. I've just, you've got, you've already got, uh, oh God, uh, 10 Mark 84s between you, and I'm sure someone's going to hit that thing. This way we've got it covered. We've got air-to-air -air covered. We've got 16 Fox Sparrows, and that's fine. Penguin with, the fuel, with the fuel, sorry, you know when we're going to go low level? Because obviously we're going to be straight on fuel. They pretty much, they got we'll us pretty be much fine. out of Israel. Yeah. They, they had to go level all the way, really, um, because they, everywhere is neutral. Uh, sorry, everywhere is hostile, pretty much, to uh, to Israel. So Yeah, it stayed on the deck the whole time. From, from my, from, remember, from doing the last uh, uh, reenactment, we're pretty much on the deck, which is one of the reasons why it was so bad for their fuel. So, Cap, uh, basically, they were low level at 100 feet till the strike. They popped up to 7,000 feet, rolled in, yeah. and then after the strike, they basically egressed the area, came up to 40,000, and cruised back. Oh, right. So, on the way back, we can go up. On the way in, we've got to not set any radars off. We will fly over the King of Jordan's head at 100 feet as well. Uh, and I will be urging you to go lower and lower. Okay, guys, that all sounds quite good. Um, is there anything we've left out, forgotten, not done? Is uh, no. cap going to be used for this uh, blue four, or is it just going to be red four? With uh, cap GCI, sorry. Oh, sugar. Um, uh, how many? Do, we've only got we've got chariot on red. Oh, we haven't got anyone blue. Uh, how do we have a GCI spare for blue? Yes, Richter. Richter, take us. Uh, you are on. Oh, out of range. Is there a range on the sheet? What do we do, guys? I'm already in SRS and lot ATC loaded, so I'm ready when you are. Just do it. Just do it on two four four. Um, I know it's a bit naughty and we wouldn't have magic, but it's just uh, gives you something to do. This is about participation at the end of the day. Or do you want to jump in a plane? You can come and jump in a plane. Yeah, come and just jump in a plane with one of us. Uh, get an extra F-16 or something. F-16, uh, or I can fly F-14, you name it, I can fly it. Do, do you want an F... What do you want, guys? An extra of? I'd do 14, just because we have a bunch of 16s already. Yeah, yep. as well. And you I'll go. that, I'll come in a 14. Is that you on my left, RC? These are jets allowed, aren't they? Yeah. I'm on your right. Oh. Hold 
I like the sound they make. Your canopy's open too. Canopy? Look how bad the copy looks compared to the other jets that we get. Wow. Feels like a cartoon jet now. Thank you, five five. Valley viewers, I'll close the canopy so we can hear. Okay. Alone at last. A cab's ready to taxi, pretty much, I think. Uh, you want to lead us out, Aussie? Okay, I'm starting my second engine, stand by. Listen to those motors, guys. Listen to those motors. F-15! 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 Uh, Cross check guard. What up? All flights, the F 15s taxi into runway 15 now. F 16s, you'll need bags on, I guess, because you've got to go a long way. Oh, we do like our star stream, don't we? Okay, bless him. Press America. Why are you yelling, RC? You vicious son of a gun. I'm not yet yelling. This is new sound through SRS is grating on me. No, it's not. Or no, it's just you, I think. You see what I have to put up with valid viewers? This nozzle steering is a bit iffy. I can see myself tipping over. Careful not to tip over on the runway, guys, when we're taking off. I don't know if I've ever tipped an F-15. I can feel it being a bit jiffy. Of course, I haven't won one for Same here. I hope you can remember how to do something, because I can't. Okay, boys, that's the last of us. 16s, please go up, and I'll see you can follow them straight up. Got it. 16s copy, rolling. Oh baby, look at that. Alright, 15's roll. Oh, it's beautiful boys, it's beautiful. This thing sure got some welly. I'll try not to show off. Oh, a little i5 struggling at the moment. <laughs> Look how slow you are, RC. Bye. <laughs> the I'm right behind these guys. should save fuel, shouldn't we? Saving fuel is incredibly unsexy though. But I suppose we should do. Operational success. Uh, yeah. Really moving, aren't they?
nails F4 radar, so they must be the Iranian sub. Doing their thing. Yeah, I'm having a few problems. RC, you just froze for me. I'm back. No idea where you guys are. Oh, there you are. Probably a bit of Israel, boys. Still in, Cap. All is well. Okay, boys, we're about to cross over to the Saudi border and then we'll be traveling along the Saudi Jordanian border shortly. Request permission to join formation at the front. Try it, Cap. I say we're getting ready to fence in and go radio silent. Hey, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back down. I've never hit a tree before, guys, don't worry about it. I'm 
worried, worried about those pylons. Losers went over it. Watch this. Woo. Must have me. It would be a bit embarrassing if I did hit one. Luckily, I don't do anything embarrassing on the internet. Remember, wings are big in this aeroplane. Wings are big in this aeroplane. Well, I guess have we not taken these F-15s, there would be no F-15s. We're really hooning it now, RC, even though we're not supposed to be talking on the radio. We're really hooning it now. We're not. No, well, we're supposed to be EM silent, but I like to talk. That's my problem. That's why I could never be an Israeli or a spy. That's really, uh, really good streaming material. <laughs> Well, it's uh, better, nearly as good as an MS-2020 flight. Oh, ow! <laughs> ow. Where are you going? Uh, they had a small problem with speed. I'm good now. Do not clip the top of the trees. Do not clip the top of the trees. I'll say it'd be very embarrassing for you if you hit the top of one of these trees. <laughs> but I'm pretty stable. More embarrassing if I hit one of these planes. How do you mean? <laughs> you know, ran into one. Don't worry, I'll cut that comment out, I'll see. Imagine if you went all 250 miles and then just clipped a fucking pylon, that would be so upsetting. Falcons are having a bit of a tussle at the front. Yeah. Roger Bridge. You won't miss much. Okay, that's an F uh, MiG-23 radar. Are we going to go noses warm or what?
We'll have to do something at... Oh, I really actually I really don't know. Let's see what happens if we got spiked. It's a trap. Jeez, that guy nearly whacked his, whacked his bits. When do we drop our tanks, I'll say. I have no idea how to operate this plane anymore. I don't remember. We'll let God decide. Spike, spike, spike! Let's go! Anything on radar? Where the shit is that guy? I can't see him on radar. What the hell's going on? And the F-15 has got hostile on radar. It's just us, Cap. Are you talking about the 16th? No, just us. It's just us too. How the hell can he see us and we can't see them? Yes, sir. Alright, do me a favour, you go up to 20,000, I'll stick on the deck. One of us has got to see him. Good enough. Spike gone. Yeah. Okay, I'm going radar silent until the next incursion. Where the heck are the F-16s gone? Tally, I'm still with them. Should I stay up here or should I come? Better come down with us. Um, come down with us, we're trying to avoid the radar. I wonder if he even locked us or did something with his uh, sparrow or radar that just made it give us that emission. Because we should be able to see anyone within 50, 60 miles. Yeah. I don't know about you, but this F 15 is so fast. I'm not used to flying a plane this fast. I'm still with you guys. Fast plane. Okay, all F-16 is still together, and I see you on our far left. Yeah, I'm right. 
coming up behind you. Speed? Uh, 400. Yep, okay. I, can't, I don't dare look down at the gauges because I know I'll just smack myself. Very possibly could have, yeah. They're sneaking up behind us. It's a smoke missile, so we'll see that missile coming, but... No nails. Where from? Look to the left. Yeah, like we're looking at to the left, north, north. Oh yeah, left, left us. Shit, yes, it's north. close to a dune there. They just sneak up on you. Yeah. This big bow, uh, A bow is really, really big on this plane, it's a pain in the butt. That's an amazing amount of fuel it carries. Amazing amount. I'm used to, I'm used to like 7,000 in the goddamn Falcon. I don't know when you get rid of the tanks. I've got the foggiest in this thing. I'd say jump them when we get to there. That's exactly what I was thinking. Either in a dogfight or when we get there. How embarrassing, not high fidelity. <laughs> Looks a little village, that's, that's the king of it's King Hussein of Jordan. I hope he doesn't report it in. He was on his yacht in the middle of the sea. Oh he was, wasn't he? He was on his yacht. Well it was a lake, it must have been a lake. There's no Jordanian Danian Sea, is there? There can't be. No, there can't be. It's the Middle East, I'll see. Yeah. In his bathtub. Probably in his bathtub with his little rubber ducky. <laughs> 13,000, 13,000. We're getting reports from the stream of 13,000 internal fuel. If so, that's a massive amount of gasoline. What a jet. What a bruiser. A 
really want, to, really want to ask how far we've gone, but I don't dare interrupt the radio transmission. Oh, hang on, we've got waypoints in this thing, I'll see. Remember, if you go to navigation mode. Yeah, I don't remember. We're in there. I'm in nav now, but I don't see waypoint. It's on the bottom right, but you got to select the waypoint. How do you do that? Yeah. Don't worry about it, you'll just crash while setting the buttons up. Hello, MiG-23, close. What the hell's going on? Spike F-14, 9 o'clock, close. Let's go, let's go, get him. I got him on radar. Cap firing. <laughs> Box one cap. Take the other one, take the far one. I'm going for the close one, take the far one. Chasing him due north, six miles on his tail. How are you doing, I'll see? I need information. This is good. I'm just trying to find up here. I'm turning back because I'm worried about another guy getting me. Cap, heady cold south. You're on the overlap and I'm low. Big 29 after me. It's faster than me, I think. Is that you? No. Cap flares out. No, that's not you. Stand by. One's down. Well done. I'm getting chased and spiked. Yes, I see it, I see it, I'm coming. Come on, let me have him, let me have him. Let me have him! Got him locked, got him locked. He's cranking right, he's going right. Got him, I'm right on him. MTWS, my friend. Okay, 12 miles. Faded. Shoot! Shoot! Yeah, box one. Missile out. Israel are the best! <laughs> missile on you, missile on you, missile, missile on me, fuck, I'm out. Chase him, chase him, chase him, chase him. Chase him. 
Yeah, I know the goddamn miss out of me. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm in the I'm in my parachute as well, RC. Let's hope they got food through us. <laughs> We're both down, okay. Well, so much for Israel being the best force out here. God, why did they hire us, RC? I can swear I hit it with my guns, but I guess not. Do you fancy a 120 mile walk? <laughs> I'm dead. I'm not in my zoom. Cheeky Iraqi bastard. Well, maybe we distracted him. How the hell did he kill two of us? He must have had Fox one to them. Oh well, let's go and watch our boys. Another one down. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! No! God, yes! Come on, baby. Show him who's got the girlfriend of Vietnam. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, I'll run you, you son of a bitch. Dump your tanks and run! Dump your tanks and run! You're on your own! It's a one-way mission. Get that guy to dump his tanks or he's going to get caught up. I can see the MiG-29s behind him. Two MiG-29s behind him. They keep them burning. They'll run out of fuel. They will run out of fuel, won't they? They fired a missile. He's gonna dump those tanks. Aki, he won't fucking listen to me. He won't listen on the radio.
maybe too low for their radar. I think it's too low for their stupid Russian radar. How far is it away from the target? And don't say 100 miles. 19 miles. Oh, wow, we're nearly there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I can see the MiG-29 behind him. Time. We should be seeing the uh, reactor soon. Gonna get some altitude, he's gonna get shot down by this. Tally reactor, tally reactor. Come on, baby. The whole internet wants him to do this. He's got to make a quick pop up here. He mustn't. Oh, get your CCIP ready. Here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes. Give this man a promotion. Sweet, I've spat all over my screen in excitement. Well done, cat. Bombs out. Oh. Oh, 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 yeah! Oh, nearly! We hit something. We hit sort of something. One of the heavy water plants. Oh, which reacted to another heavy water plant. No, he hit it. He hit it. It's all on fire. Close enough. Oh, MiG-29 just bit we passed. Okay, he's gonna dogfight now. Or he's gonna die. Probably the latter. Oh, the face! You did your job, soldier! You did your okay, job. That was realistic, right? Well done, boys. That was a valiant way for an Israeli to die, boys. Let's go and check the damage. Yeah, I mean, it's all on fire. Look at it, it's all on fire. I'll say that's a damaged plant. Well done, boys. Well done, boys. How did the other strike go? I haven't heard from them yet.
14 got his wheels out. Was that a 14 flying like a crazy? <laughs> One with gear on and nothing holding his bomb up. How interesting. Want to shout the W word. They're bombing, they're bombing! Look, they're bombing! And because those 29s came and shot us, they've got nothing to defend them. Oh, we've run out of bombs, crap. The one with the wheels out. Yep. Who the hell is that? Four, five, six, seven, eight, bomb on it. I'll see, that's just how he flies. He prefers the drag. Leave him be. That's his, oh, his bombing technique's a bit off. There's a hostile. 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 The hell is it? It's a goddamn MiG-21. Where is it? Where's the A? I see it. There was a 21 in there somewhere. Rocky. The guy with the gear is gonna go chase chase him. <laughs> <laughs> Off the field! Uh oh Missile out. Oh no! Dons of Visage! And, uh, uh, where did 29 come from? How many? Uh, I swear, have they got like 50 29s? If you crash, I'm gonna get really annoyed! Oh, for fuck! <laughs> what the? What the hell kind of pilots do we have in those F-14s? Well, that's the end of it, I think. 21 and a 29 circling. Goddamn Red 4. You'll pay for this! First thing to say is I expected a dog boring mission. I expected three hours of just cruising of FS2020, just cruising, seeing nothing, doing nothing, just looking at terrain. Turns out, not so much. Um, our rendition was obviously different because we wanted to sex ours up. So we gave the Reds a GCI so they could actually think and see us and stuff. And it turns out it really paid off I and mean, we absolutely thrashed. Well, you know, I mean, it's amazing. Really, really cool. Turned out to a really cool mission as PVTB often does. Right. Um, Game Master, who's not here, which is going to be interesting. So I think, so I think we destroyed the nuclear reactor. Technically, the bombs hit on two buildings next to it, but the whole building was pretty much on fire. So I'd, as you'll see in the movie, I'd consider that a destroyed uh, nuclear power plant. I didn't see what happened at the airfield. Um, does anyone... Um, what happened at the airfield, guys? 
Um, both sets of bombers were hit with at least four Mark 83s. Oh, that's okay. Then, so we, so we definitely did get them. I know you're struggling for reasons, but okay, well, well done. Uh, so the good thing is we got the mission done. We did get that bombed, the TU-22s, and the nuclear reactor done. So Israel is safe. The bad news is we all pay, all of us paid with our lives, and it's very not very often all of us go down. We lost four 16s, three F-15s. Uh, three or four uh, Tomcat slash SU. Oh God, sorry, what F fours? And did we lose all four F fives as well? Only two of them took off. Uh, well, Obi and Frisco were off having a party together somewhere. Yes, they do that. No, sorry, I meant to tell you, but I didn't get the message until afterwards. The PC started Windows updates about an hour before the mission, and they were still doing it when they had them too. I did it last minute. Roger. Um, okay, guys. So let's go group by group. Um, F. No, sorry. Uh, F fours. Right. So um, I don't know if you want to find us on the time. Um, yeah. But, so you had to uh, tell us about your problems. So Starscream decided to convenient. I wonder what this will look like on tech view. But Starscream decided to put us in hangars with our wings outstretched. And mm -hmm. as you know, Teen is a big boy. Um, so after teleporting constantly inside the hangar, uh, Stout and I figured out that if you slap your wings into oversweep and hit the burners, you cannon out of there like a bat out of hell. So that's how we got onto the runway. Uh, we finally took off after about an hour into the mission, um, cause we had to deal with a bunch of other technical things and trying to fix, uh, Richter's gear, which was pneumatically crushed, uh, every single time he respawned in. Uh, so we finally took off and we had quite the nice super low level flight scratching the ground all the way there, about 111 miles. Um, Hold on. Uh, we jumped over the final mountain with the airfield plane in front of us, looked just right out of Hollywood, uh, swooped in and we had our first bomb runs, which both hit on target, but only took out one of the two bombers that were 10 feet apart somehow. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if that was that, if they had both blown up, we would have flown right around, did a big circle, gone back to base, it would have all been fine. Because we wanted to make it look good and take out the other two that miraculously survived somehow, we uh, all kind of died in the process when all the AAA decided to eat us. Good job. You did your mission. Um, no complaints there. So well done, guys. F5s. So we were waiting for them to take off, so uh, we are just sorry, enjoying can I, ourselves. Can I interrupt? Is anyone still in the server? Hi. Yeah, me. Uh, uh, who's not a Tomcat driver? Me. Okay. Wait, Can you stay in? Stay Bruce. in, because there's a 10-minute delay that screwed my track view up uh, uh, and track file. So if you can do that, please. Uh, sorry, uh, carry on. Um, let's just carry on F5s. Okay, so we waited for the 14-stroke uh, F4s to take off, mm -hmm. having a lovely time on the taxiway. Uh, then we took off and flew to Charlie Uniform Box to mm -hmm. try and distract any fighters that were probably lurking. Uh, we found them, got tally on them, and then it was like, oh yeah, it's a MiG-29 with a 27 ET. Mm -hmm. Just ate that straight away. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Exila got a missile off on it, but obviously we had crap uh, aim nines, so didn't get a hit. And then he had a 27, uh, 73, R-73, and just shot him in the face. So good, loved it. That's sarcasm. I can detect when boys have sarcasm mm. on. <laughs> okay, well, at the end of the day, although we got kicked, you did get the bombs on target. Um, yeah, we distracted them. So we did our job, but it was just a bit sucky. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's a shame that these things happen. Um, F-16s, go. Yeah, so we basically took off. We fenced in, got really low, flying under power lines, over power lines, above trees. And, I mean, it was a fun flight in. I mean, kind of riding by the seat of your pants. And then we got jumped. And three of us got shot down. I luckily got uh, bombs on target and went to roll back around and took a missile to the ass. Oh, yes. Great bombs, by the way. Um, that's all spot on, that was. Well done for getting there. Um, and it was the same as the rest of the F-16s. You just slowly got picked off, didn't you? I'm um, just trying to find out how Red 4 got into us. So Seahorse came at us. Oh, I see. They, they've coordinated this cheeky little attack, look. Yes, we did. I, so I sent that missile off over to Seahorse. Seahorse dodged it. I then turn. RC goes hot. I then turn to go hot to cover RC. 
Kingston comes in. That's an aim seven at someone. Oh, look at that cheeky uh, teens, the 16s. How did that happen? It, it looked to us like, from where I was sitting, it's like the, the F-14s drew you off and the 29s without radar on came behind them. And as soon That's as exactly he switched the radar on, I went boom. Oh, God. That's so frustrating. I just got thrashed one-on-one -on -one by a big 29. How the hell does that happen? Because I'm amazing. <laughs> oh, you didn't even dodge, Kingston. It's just so frustrating. Like I said, it's my Aurora. Everything I do is Fox rebased. I don't even know how to use it. Oh, and, oh God. I'm, oh, it's so frustrating. And then you to be fair, I didn't even know you'd fire that at me, to be fair, mate. So <laughs> that's a little lesson. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, and chase him down. And then Roadkill just, just, I've got no, it runs out. But he just managed to get, keep away. Were you all chasing him at the end? Uh, well, me, but it was I just ran cover. Out of fuel and ended up actually killing him with no engine. I just held the radar lock and Fox mm -hmm. three. Or Fox I knew one. they were going to run out of fuel. I well, had to do something. I bugged out because when I killed Penguin, it took three R seventy threes to catch up with the fucker. It did. <laughs> so I was like, yeah. he will die. And then once he was dead, I realised I had no more fuel, so I flew home instead. A new cover would do the job for me. Roger. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's weird, but that worked out. So especially with our package, a really cool mission in the end. Um, Reds had really no business winning that. They just thrashed us. They just did a lot better than us in the in the south. Uh, the Tomcat and the two MiG twenty nines just took us to pieces. Um, and. Uh, she did well, really. Redfall. Anyway, what's your um, what's your? Uh, so, we basically all planned together and knew that we had our best chance of survival was to work together. So the first thing we had was technical issues. So we should have had four fourteens, but we actually only have two. So we had to elect someone to go into an extra twenty nine. So I gave Seahorse my um, F fourteen, um, but the fourteens are actually stuck in hangars like blues were. So the only one that worked was the one that Seahorse went in. Minimum, we had 114. So Cover, myself, and Apollo went into 29s. And then Dragon went in his MiG-21. We left Apollo and, Mi and Dragon near Pollyanna, because we knew you guys would come and strike it. Whilst Seahorse went away to try and get your attention, which worked. Whilst me and Cover flew up high with our radars off to sneak in behind everyone else. That was basically the plan. No, and you fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. Did, which I didn't... <laughs> Yeah. I didn't you think it would work, but it did. <laughs> you, you boys should do consulting for the Iraqi Air Force. You should do, shouldn't you? Look at you. I've never seen such a good Iraqi Air Force, if I'm honest. Okay. Uh, did, did you miss the bit where I blew my nose gear on landing? Hold on. Um, Seahorse crashed yeah. when he was doing it, and then uh, Cover now ran out of fuel. Were we brushing over that bit? <laughs> well, you know, it said you had to be perfect. True. That's that is true. You didn't say that. That is true. All right, guys. Well, speaking about good uh, Air Force, one of the casualties was on me. I had a like a wing moment from Star Wars because uh, as I returned to uh, to air base, I uh, shot down an F-14, I think, with his, my little puny rockets, and mm -hmm. saw him lose control. And in absolute terror, I just followed it him with my eyes as he spin down to the ground to hit the F uh, 222s that I was supposed to protect ah, and ah, smash it just right in the ah, center of it. I'll make sure we get that nicely covered. <laughs> um, how, was the, uh, how was the first takeoff cap of the F-15? What do you mean first takeoff? There was one and only takeoff. What are you talking about, honestly? <laughs> I didn't see on the taxi. So well, don't worry, we had some comical moments as well. <laughs> we were all sat on the taxiway trying to work out how to get the MiG-29 to turn on because it's been so long for all of us. Yes, we and Seahorse just goes past upside down, screams, <laughs> and then nosedives into the runway. <laughs> <laughs> Cover gets his um, throttle inverted and just disappears across the grass, screaming as well. And it was just, it was, it was just all carnage. All right, but it was good fun. Okay. I enjoyed it. Can awesome. you do it again? It yeah, was good it fun. We should with more people because it was actually really good fun. Uh, RC, you need to put on the bug list that the F-14s can't fit in the Syrian garages and that's going to piss me off. It people. is already there. That's what I said. Uh, any final thoughts before I go and try and make something look good out of that? The yeah. helicopters are way too far away from any yeah, of the objectives. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate because I, I just couldn't wait for them to cover another 30 miles. It's, it's a thing. Whoever, 
whoever shot down the F-14s over the airfield, uh, I got to say that was a hell of a freaking missile shot that you got on me at the end. Uh, I was doing all I could, and there was just nothing to be done. It was a good shot. Yeah, we were ogling after that as well as we watched him do it. No jump. Okay, guys, so remember, if we redo it, we've got to change the 14 spawns, and we've got to change the helicopters. How about that? Kingston, send me your track file. Now, I know you're young and impulsive, so I don't mean a tack view file. I mean a track file, a TRK. Do you understand that? I'm sending you nude right now. Got Thank it. Thank you. All right, bye-bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye.